Welcome to Switch Comics. My name is Marco. It is Wednesday, yet again, new comic book day. I got some cool things to show you, but first, let me quickly tell you about my giveaway. At 600 subscribers, I am giving away three awesome comics. All you have to do is leave a comment on this video, be subscribed to the channel, and actually, you can leave a comment on any of my videos. Each video, each different video uh, you leave a comment on will give you another chance to enter into the giveaway. Giving away those three books at 600 subscribers, so do you just talk about comics and you might win some. So let's go ahead and talk about some comics. I'll give you some stuff to talk about. Uh, so first starting off, I guess this one technically isn't a comic, uh, but it's something cool and free and fun you can pick up at your local comic shop. It's uh, the calendar for 2022. Has, uh, you know, a bunch of cool different things in there. We got some new mutants in there. What is, well, let's see, what is my, I didn't even check, what is my birth month? For birth, my birth month, I got Hulk. And I'm born in May. And that's all you need to know about me. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you can check out a bunch of cool different things in here. And always have, uh, nice to have a little fun calendar with uh, with some cool things on there. Got Dr. Doom right there. <laughs> all right. So anyway, go ahead and swing by your local comic shop. Pick up a free copy of uh, a calendar. And then let's go ahead and we're going to hop into uh, Marvel starting off. So we have Death of Doctor Strange, number four. And man, you know... <laughs> Y'all know me. If you know, if you're uh, familiar with the channel, then you know I'm gonna love pretty much anything Jed McKay's putting out. Death of Doctor Strange has been a great series. Uh, I will say I do want to speak a little bit. I guess um, there's <sighs> be careful because like I, I pay attention to Key Collector, uh, the app, because you know I, I work in comics. I collect comics. And I, my life revolves around. God, I have a comic YouTube channel. I, I've been pretty involved in comics, so you know it's good to know what's going on, this and that, whatever. So uh, it's good to look at the like early solicitations for everything. However, with this comic and actually the next comic, there were a couple errors, and there was an error last week as well. So on the Key Collector app, it stated this one, and <laughs> part of it was because the preview covers for this was. Doctor Strange, but he was all blacked out and had a question mark. And it was like, who's going to be the next Sorcerer Supreme? And it's it, it said in the Key Collector that the new Sorcerer Supreme would be revealed. The book had nothing to do with this or with that. Um, it was just some marketing, I guess, that they decided to employ. Um, that being said, you know, just take everything with with the future stuff on there. Take everything with a grain of salt. Sometimes they're wrong. Uh, definitely do your research, because last week, what was it? It was the first appearance of, of uh, Captain Carter in uh, Avengers Forever. She's on the cover, but not actually in the book at all. So, uh, anyway, regardless, uh, <laughs> regardless of that being incorrect, very cool book, loving this read. Uh, past Doctor Strange that has been... If you're not reading the series, Doctor Strange dies in, uh, in the beginning, and then a he has a spell where it's a past version of himself. He like sealed away a week of his life so that in the case of his death, he could come back and solve his own murder. And um, past Doctor Strange is, is, is starting to figure things out. Um, and I think this is just a five-parter. Yeah, actually, it says on the back here, it's... Uh, Got one more main issue, and then there's one more tie-in with also Bloodstone, which I'm very excited for. And, um, yeah, so, I mean, kind of more so, I think everything's kind of figured out in this issue, and then it seems like last issue is going to be the resolution of it all. So I'm very excited to see how this goes. Uh, there was very little of uh, the three mothers and the child in this issue, but again, every time they're drawn, like... They're just so creepy, and especially the child. Like the the child is just like a horror, monstrous being, you know. I mean, all of them are, but like uh, the the child especially is like, oh my god, you know. <laughs> I don't I don't want to have to face against that thing. And then moving on to Timeless, which again, there was an error on in in the Key Collector app. It said it was the going to be the first appearance of Miss Minutes. It was not. However, we did get the first cover appearance of Miss Minutes, which I went ahead and picked up. And there's a bunch of covers for this book, by the way. A lot of them are really good. I didn't pick them all up, but I did pick... Uh, Chris actually picked out this one, so he wanted that one. And pretty cool cover. Like I said, there were some other ones. There was a cool Miles cover that I came pretty close to picking up, but I already picked up four copies of this book. So I didn't... I didn't want to 
pick up a fifth. But anyway, especially this is a six dollar book, you know, <laughs> it adds up. But check out this road cover. That is a sick. I think it's a, Car yeah, Carnero, uh, yeah, Carnero cover. It is super rad. I mean, pretty minimalist and simplistic, but I'm really digging it. But um, anyway, Timeless is a kind of a strange book. I thought it was going to be an event, um, and I thought like it, you know, there's a bunch of things going on. And this is just a one shot, and it has nothing to do with the King, a mini series that just finished. That's not tied into it at all. Um, I mean, it, it involves King, but other than that, it has nothing to do with each other. Um, it's a pretty interesting book, and it's kind of, it's kind of like a preview book, but in a story, in one collective story. That's the best way I could say. It's Marvel doing a creative way, which again, Jed McKay wrote it, which is awesome. But it's, it's Marvel saying like, hey, we're going to show you things that are coming out in this next year, but we're going to give you a story to follow at the same time. And uh, it was pretty interesting. The, uh, is the yeah? Well, the last uh, page has a big reveal on it, and then actually the very last page of the story has a big reveal. But then the very last page of the book has a big um, advertisement, I guess we'll we'll call it, which is pretty interesting. I'm I'm curious to see. Um, they're they're pushing towards something. I mean, it's gonna be some kind of big event or something. I think. Uh, but it, it's a pretty interesting way to do it. Um, it. It obviously follows Kang throughout this entire book. He is accompanied by a uh, a writer that he picks up and spends some time with that I don't think has ever been any... I'm pretty sure this was his first appearance. Um, and, well, I don't know. Are we ever going to see him again? Probably not. I don't know. I don't think he matters. I think he's just here for this story, you know. And, it, you know... He serves the story very well. I really enjoyed it. Uh, there was oh, there was a cool uh, alternate universe character that was it was pretty rad. I almost forgot about him because it's a thicker book. I don't know how well that's gonna <laughs> show up, but it's a thicker book, so a lot happens. And I was just flipping through the pages. I was like, oh yeah, that was the thing. Uh, th there's a lot that happens in here, and and yeah, that alternate universe character is really really rad. Um, and like I said, I'm I'm really curious to see what's going to pop up off of this. I don't think, I don't know if this book will ever be really referenced in any of the future stuff. Like I said, it really just feels like, hey, we're, we want to do a preview, but more fun. And I'm all for it. I'm all for more fun. So moving on to Devil's Reign, which is a series I wasn't sure if I was going to pick up. Read, decided to read the first issue. It was really good. It's all the second issue. had Taskmaster. I was like, all right, you got me hooked. Um, gotta say it was good. <laughs> a little disappointed on because I love Taskmaster again. My first graded comic was a, a Christmas gift for my brother. First appearance of Taskmaster because he knows I love Taskmaster. Um, and um, there's not a lot of them in here. <laughs> this is all it is. The story's good. There's a lot of moving parts and a lot of things going on. I wasn't really expecting him to be in here a ton, but uh, it was cool to get to see him. Um, but yeah, uh, Fisk is, you know, still capturing heroes, and the, some heroes are on the side kind of trying to do things together. There was an interesting, maybe a little of internal conflict inside of the heroes themselves. They're trying to, like, secretly band together to, you know, figure out how to best, not like physically fight, but like fight against his policies uh, against Fisk, you know. And uh, there's maybe some interesting drama brewing um, in the heroes. So, um I was uh, pretty interested, uh, pretty interested in that, and I'm. I don't know if I'm going to pick up all the tie-ins on the Devil's Reign. Uh, probably will pick up Thunderbolts because I did enjoy that mini series. That King of Black mini series was pretty good. Um, I can't mean to check if it's the same writer or not. Maybe it is. Maybe not. I don't know who it is. But regardless, uh, pretty interesting. There's a fun little teaser for presumably the next issue. Um, of a character that will be pretty pretty fun, I think. But um, I don't know. We'll we'll see. But overall, liking the series so far. Regardless, I haven't read um, Zdarsky's uh, Daredevil. I know Zdarsky's a great writer, so I'm enjoying it. But probably, if you're reading Daredevil, some things might make a bit more sense to you. But still, really good. Then we have Wastelander Star Lord, the Wastelander series. So I thought all of it was going to take place after all of. 
Um, wait, hold on. Let's see. Let me make sure. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. This this does take place after. Uh, I haven't read Old Man Quill. Um, I know what happens because I, you know, I've just heard before. I, it's one of those things. I was collecting the issues, and I'm still missing some of the issues, so I just never got around to reading it all. Uh, and it's also it's one of those things. It's like I picked up some, and they never really worked that hard to pick up the rest of them. Um, but anyway, so yeah, it because uh, I'm pretty sure Old, Old Man Quill is just a 12 part series to my knowledge and this just takes place after that um and it it was pretty interesting i don't know if it really added too much to his story but um i do feel like it was written well it follows the same concepts um which i i don't know if i want to ruin old man quill this is a big twist if you haven't read it but i mean if you're gonna read this then you'll know what happened um and it also i mean it tells you it you know has a little as most comics do it has a little warm-up um little introductory to tell you what's you know what happened to get you ready uh, for this comic but yeah there was some there were some cool things in here and if you i feel like if you enjoyed old man quill uh this is a little bit more of the same thing but not necessarily adding too much but it was fun i enjoyed it um, still Wolverine's the best one, by far, that, uh, Wastelanders Wolverine was really solid, um, what was the other one, Hawkeye, Hawkeye was okay, um, and then I, I enjoyed, uh, this Old Man Quill as well. That's it for our Marvel, unless you count Star Wars, some people are like, yeah, Marvel's this, I mean, technically, yeah, it's a Marvel comic, I don't know what the dogs are freaking out about, but, anyway, um, got Bounty Hunters, I don't even know what number this is, um, I haven't... I haven't read any of my Star Wars stuff in forever. I'm super far behind. It's one of those things. It's like it just keeps getting more and more piled up. I'm like, I need to sit down one day and read it all. But anyway, Bounty Hunters number 19. Super rad cover. I really, really like that cover. But yeah, I just need to get caught up on my Star Wars. So we'll just move on from there. I only got a single, well, a single DC book. Um, so we have Teen Titans uh, Academy number 10. Uh... <laughs> This is one of those line covers. Um, it's a fun cover. You know, Red X versus Shazam. They don't even meet in this issue. Maybe they do next issue. Who knows? <laughs> but yeah, they have nothing to do with each other in this issue. Um, pretty good, though. I'm really enjoying this story. Um, Red X is just a really fascinating character. They're doing a really good job, which is... Uh, I was a bit worried when in Future State when they decided to, you know, introduce Red X and everything... And I'm a, such a fan of the Teen Titans animated show, and Red X was so cool and everything, and I was like, man, I hope they do this character right. And it right doesn't have to mean, I hope it. I hope it's the same way as I remember, you know? Because, like, this is completely different. Like, we don't even know who Red X is still. But at the same time, like, I'm just so invested in this mystery, and I'm in, and not even that, like, we've actually moved kind of past the mystery. Like, the mystery's still there, but the mystery isn't, like, the focus anymore like there is a developed story and developing story i guess um and there's a lot of other moving pieces that tie in to the apocalypse that we saw in future state and um it's it's pretty interesting i mean i'm, I'm really digging it uh I, I like all these like i said newer young heroes and everything and um and red x and the teen titans also, it doesn't really paint a good light on them, which I think is kind of interesting. Like, they're not, I don't know, not that great of, of teachers and not that great of heroes, even, maybe. They make some, or consider some questionable decisions in this issue, especially. But even throughout the whole thing, they're just, don't really have a grasp on, on uh, don't really have control of everything that's going on. And then moving on to our indie books, we have a behemoth book here, Nine Stones, issue number five. I did pick up the B cover on this one. Uh, pretty strange story as always. I always say this is a weird one. I don't necessarily recommend to anyone, but I'm super intrigued. <laughs> and it, it's it's a weird, um, almost torture porny type of comic, but... I don't know, it's strange. It has a lot of elements going on to it. It has 
And it introduced some more weird elements today where, or not today, but it will rather in this issue that uh, I wasn't expecting. It kind of revealed some things in a way, but I feel like it's like, oh, okay, wait a minute. And then you have like a bajillion more questions and that aren't answered. So uh, I was thinking this was going to be a mini series, but I went ahead and looked it up. Uh, and well, at least it's, it's going on. And I uh, saw like there was at least like number nine still going on after, the, like I said, there's four more issues. So that's quite a while away. So I was like, yeah, the story you know, still has a lot more going on to it. Because I could kind of see it's like maybe they're going to wrap it up. Uh, Oh, because yeah, usually five is like on a mini series. Five is like the last one or whatever. So I was curious if it uh, this was gonna be the finale, and it is not. <laughs> it it's a it's a strange story. I don't know. Like I said, I, I really enjoy it. And then the last one we have, I pick up uh pick, picked up Echo Lands number five. Super super cool book. Again, this is a horizontal book, so all the art is like this, which is super cool. This, um, and also, when I flipped to, like, the wrong page to show what I'm about to, um, talk about. But anyway, um, this story is really neat, uh, in particular, which I haven't, I haven't really cared for the story of Echo Lands too much. The, in the entire time, this is the first four issues, uh, I, but, I mean, the art's just incredible. The, the whole way that they draw the panels and integrate everything and, um, They'll have, like, for example, they'll have, like, multiple panels, and they won't, like, just be squares. A lot of times they're broken up by, like, for example, it'll be on the ocean, and, like, the kind of, like, bubbles and, and I don't know what you call it, but, like, the, not fizz, but I don't know, you know, like, the, how the bubbles all form up and create, like, the white, white parts on the ocean, you know, in the waves and everything. Um, that will, like, break up the panels, and then within that shot, you're seeing, even though, it kind of looks like one giant picture of the ocean uh, or whatever the land or whatever they're on. But like, you'll see like a boat moving through the panels and it's just, it's super creative, really awesome stuff. And then this one was particularly interesting because um, it'll be hard to see because the story flows from here all the way to the end here. And then you start over here and all the way to the end. And in this particular issue, it's kind of, it was kind of like two different comics. Um, on the top, there's one story being told in one location, and the bottom is a different story being told in a different location. Uh, cause some characters got separated last issue, or a character got separated from the group, rather, last issue. And uh, the bottom one is about like the journey he's going on. And it's it's just a really creative way and I actually, for the first time maybe uh, in the series, really actually cared. Not so much for the main group. There was some interesting things going on. But I actually really enjoyed the secondary story, I guess we'll call it. Um, about a man that is washed up on an island of of AI, like super robots. They, you know, you know well, there's like one of them. Um, they kind of, they look very different, but like he's like kind of Voltron-esque looking, you know. And, um, they, I don't want to spoil the whole thing about it, but it was a really interesting take because, um, it, basically the robots didn't want to ever turn bad because they knew that they were AI and I don't know how they know this, but they're like, AI always ends up turning and, and destroying everything. So we're staying secluded and staying away from everything. Um, to prevent that from happening. And it was a really interesting idea. Um, yeah, I, Echo Lance is super cool, especially if you're a fan of just looking at some incredible works of art. These books are nothing but that. Page after page, which by the way, most of the time the pages are like all interconnected. I think two issues ago, the first nine pages were all connected and it was like incredible. And a lot of these are connected as well. I don't, it wasn't the first nine this time, so I don't know exactly the story, but it's a, it's a super cool book. I definitely recommend checking it out. And that is my last book for today. So as always, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you're uh, reading this week. If you agreed with what uh, I thought about some of these books, if you disagree, this or that or whatever, if there's something that I'm not reading that I definitely should, let me know in the comments down below. That'll enter you into the giveaway. But that's going to be it for this week, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm. ah.